from Studio 5, this is NBC5 News Today. Also, all of us keep learning so much better ways to be smart with our money, and we should be constantly teaching those lessons to our kids. Tips next on how to do just that here in Studio 5. All right, Anthony, here in Chicago it is a 10th annual Money Smart Week. There are over 500 classes you could participate in to get smarter with your money. But more importantly, we can start teaching our kids how to be smart with money so they're smarter later on, and the earlier, the better in terms of starting. Joining us this morning is Edward Sanchez, president of Money Sharp and Chicago's Money Smart Kid, Charlie Taseo. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, I have to say, how old are you? Twelve. You are 12 years old. He probably knows more about money than most adults, and I'm going to let you talk about that in a moment. But first, Edward, why don't you talk to us about the importance of teaching people more about personal finance and what Money Smart Week can do to help folks? Well, especially in this time, uh, having access to over 500 free events that are seminars and classes taught by financial experts throughout the entire Chicagoland area are very helpful. People are asking for this information right now and they don't know where to go. Uh, the Federal Reserve does a great job of making sure these events are not selling and they're marketing to people. It's just free financial education event where you can start a conversation about retirement planning, paying for college, or taking care of your future. So really, really good position to start. Uh, at no cost and no risk for any consumers. And this is all over the city and the suburbs, correct? Yeah, throughout the entire Chicagoland area. Okay. Now, I want to ask you a question. So this is a very nice looking trophy. Tell us about what it is that made you the money smart kid for 2011. Uh, we had a um, economics unit in class and uh -huh. at the very end we it finished off with the Federal Reserve's Money Smart Week. Uh, I wrote my essay, I sent it in, we, I was interviewed with a panel of people and they chose me and I had a whole ceremony and met a lot of people. Yeah, that's great. And what do you think the number one thing that kids your age don't understand that you think is important that they should? Well, I have two things. One of it is budgeting. Budgeting is very key at this age and focusing on your needs versus your wants, really knowing the difference. Uh, I, uh, uh, like real life. Wait, what, what did I hear? Is that a 12 year old saying no needs versus wants? That's awesome. Uh, I have an, an example for the needs versus wants is if we go to the movies, you go to the movies with your friends and do you really need the popcorn and the drink because that mm -hmm. triples your cost right there. So is it really necessary to get that or can you just go see your movie? It's really. Well, that's really important, though. And Edward, I would assume that really making kids understand the decision of making choices about money is so important. What do you think are the key things parents really need to relate to their kids? I'd say certainly at this age, uh, it's very important for, for them to begin to make these types of decisions. Uh, I, I teach seventh and eighth graders about finance, and my eighth graders are teaching a class this week. Mm -hmm. It's called Millionaires in the Making Wednesday night at St. Vincent Fair. Uh, very excited about the decisions they make, and I have parents giving me feedback saying, well, my child is telling me the cars I want to buy are, are liabilities and not assets, or that I should start my own business, and uh, what type of insurance coverage do I have? So really having a conversation with your children at this age uh, does empower them to start thinking about things earlier uh, and more often than, than one would think that they really can have an impact in, in this area. And you need to bring them into, I guess, the day-to-day -day budgeting in the household to get that conversation going. Yeah, as an eye-opener, you can have them start looking at how they spend money after school, between home and school. Uh, if they're going to stop at the, at the gas station, buy bubble gum or soda after school, these expenses add up. And what they do with their allowances and when money is spent on their behalf, uh, it really does add up. And then what needs versus wants versus conveniences and necessities. Okay, awesome. Edward and Charlie, thank you so much. All right, what is your number one advice for kids out there today? Um, bu budgeting and needs versus wants. All right. See, he's got it down for all of us adults who really need the lesson probably more than kids sometimes. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Again, for more information about Money Smart Week, you could go to Chicago, www.smartmoneyweek.com. Anthony?